Captain Stephen Davis, United States Cavalry at your service, sir. Howdy, Captain. You're from the Gold Creek Settlement, traveling to Denton? Sure am. I got a parcel of gold out there, too. Hey, watch your foot. Well, there have been numerous robberies on this trail, sir. My men and I have been assigned to escort you in. Oh, now that, that's real nice. Glad to have you Army boys along. Oh, it's our pleasure, sir. <laughs> Trouble, Captain. No trouble, my friend. I just think this is a likely spot to relieve you of that gold dust you're carrying. Hey, you just hold on there. Ah! Hurry it up, gentlemen. Give me Sammy. Another day hold up. Come on. Himself, Captain Davis. It's hard to believe that our old friend Captain Davis can be responsible for these crimes. But Tommy see him leave, not come back. Which makes him a deserter. And even harder to understand, knowing the way he felt about the army and the love he has for his family. Uh, many strange things happen to Miss Abby. Maybe him change. Yes, it looks that way. Uh, you feel all right for driving to Denton? Oh, sure. What am I going to do when I get there? I'm all cleaned out. Oh, you'll find work. I have some silver in my saddlebag that should tide you over until you do. Oh, thanks, mister. Say, who are you, anyway? Who can I thank? Him, friend. Someone who's going to run down Captain Davis and get your money back for you for the last thing he ever does. Thank you. Thank you. Any words, sir, about my father? No, Tim. Sorry. Colonel Strickland? That is the look. Captain Davis again, sir. Another robbery. That makes number five. They've stolen almost $10,000 in gold already, sir. Can't understand it. He was one of my best officers. Why? Why did a man with 15 years of good army service behind him turn outlaw? We'll know the answer to that, sir, when we've captured him. Yes, sir. I'll follow up on that, folks. Uh, Colonel, the captain's son's outside. What shall I tell him? I'll talk to him in a few minutes. He's taking it pretty hard, isn't he? Yes, sir. That's the worst part of all this. What it's doing to Davis's family. That's all, Phillips. Yes, sir. What did the Colonel say? Has he heard from my father? The Colonel will be out in a minute, Tim. You better ask him. everybody for it, Tim. You ain't gonna see your dad no more. I am so. Ah, not. You just wait. When my father comes back, he'll prove he didn't do all those things. My pop says when they bring Captain Davis back, it'll be at the end of a rope. What does your father know about it? He's only a lieutenant. Well, at least my dad isn't a coward and a deserter, too. You take that back. Jimmy, Tim, stop it, both of you. Tension. Fine way for a couple of soldiers to act. Now, what's it all about, Jimmy? He started, Colonel. He picked a fight for no reason at all. There was so a reason. Well, maybe I said something about his dad, but golly, Colonel, everybody at the fort knows that Tim's dad's a criminal now. You better go to your quarters, Jimmy. But, sir... Go ahead, son. It's an order. Yes, sir. Now, what are you doing here at headquarters anyway, Tim? I told your mother I'd let her know the minute I had something definite. Now, you better go on home. You don't believe it, do you, Colonel? You know my father isn't an outlaw, don't you? Well, we'll talk about it later, son. Why can't we talk about it now? You don't think he deserted, do you? I don't know, Tim. I, I just don't know.
him. Uh, I'll be out in a minute, Mom. Now, Tim, come here. What happened? Nothing, Mom. Uh, I fell down. You've been fighting, haven't you? It wasn't anything, Mom, really. Tim, you and I have never had any secrets. Was it about your father? You haven't forgotten what your father said about fighting, have you? He said if there was a good reason, if a fella knew he was right. Yes? I don't care what anybody says, they're all wrong. Dad's not what they say he is. Tim, I'm so mixed up. I'm sorry. Don't cry, Mom. He'll come back. Everything's gonna be all right. If there was some way we knew, some way to talk to him and see him. Please, Mom. Better go wash your face. I've got to finish this mending. If there was some way we knew, some way to talk to him, to see him. What did you learn at the Gold Creek Settlement? They're trouble, Kimasabi. Miners plenty angry about robbery. Then blame Army. Well, they're wrong. The Army's doing everything in its power to bring those men to justice, just as we are. But maybe Army not like us to interfere. It's every man's duty, in uniform or out of uniform, to help this government of ours bring its enemies to justice. Tano, we've got to make the West a place where decent men and women can live in safety and in peace. Tano, it's only a boy. What are you doing here, son? Nothing. Uh, I was looking for a place to sleep. Where do you live? Don't be frightened. We won't harm you. But your mask. This mask stands for justice. Tano and I work on the side of the wall. You wear army uniform. You from Port Brady? Yes, sir. I was on my way to Gold Creek. That's quite a trip for a young fellow. You must have a good reason. I have. I'm trying to find my father. You son of Captain Davis? Yes. My name's Tim. How did you know? Tim, we knew your father a long time ago when you were very young. Well, then maybe you can help me. Just got to find him. Everybody thinks he's done something awful. Yes, we've heard. But he didn't do it. I just know something's happened to him. Tim, that's a job for the law. If anything has happened to your father, Tano and I'll find them, I promise. But I want to help. Is your mother back at the fort? Yes, sir. She know you run away? Uh, I left her a note. She'll understand. Well, Tim, you're the man of the house now, at least for a while. It's your job to look after your mother. Yes, sir, but please, I've just got to find my father. He needs me. Sorry, Tim, it won't work. You have to go back. You have horse? Yes, he's over there. I'll get it, Tano. You get Silver and Scout, and then we'll head for Fort Brady. Tim, you stay here. Now they've added murder to their crimes. We can't delay any longer, Tano. What do we do? Well, I have a plan. But our first concern is young Tim. I want you to take him to the Gold Creek settlement, see to his safety. Then go to the livery stable, rent a wagon and a horse, and meet me. Oh, this 
wagon cost more than anything I ever heard of. Gold strike make all miners rich, Tim. Everything in gold town costs plenty gold. You remember what mass man tell you? Yes. We send for army men. Him take you to fort. Yes, sir. You go into stable now. Him take care of you till the time to leave. I will, Tonto. You even fool me. You look like miner from Gold Creek. <laughs> Hope the outlaws think the same engine. Everything ready? Ah, uh, me follow on Silver and Scout. Good. I'll keep on the road. You go along the ridge. When I signal, come fast. Turnings to the bank in Denton. <laughs> well, we're from Fort Brady. My men and I are assigned to patrol this road. There's been trouble lately. Trouble, eh? Sure wouldn't want nothing to happen with me carrying all this gold dust back there. Well, that's what I mean, sir. We'll escort you into Denton. Well, no. That's mighty nice of you fellas. Much obliged. Well, you just follow us and we'll lead you through safely. Lead on, son. Lead on. Look for you. Here, Brody. Come on, here. Hey, what are you holding that six-shooter on me for? From here on, we'll take over, mister. Take over? What are you fellas talking about? All right, get rid of that gun. All right. I'm getting rid of it. All right, now get that gold dust and hand it over. Maybe that'll clear things up for you. And make it fast. All right. I'm going. You watch that six-gun. Oh, Brownie. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Maybe that'll move you along. Tim. Did you see him? Did you see him? That captain wasn't my father. I know that, Tim. We could have captured them if you hadn't disobeyed orders. I'm sorry, sir, but I just had to come along. I... Boy here? Yes, Tonto. That's why I couldn't give you the signal. But him make promise, Kimisabe. Yes, but I had my fingers crossed. Well, that's a kid's trick, Tim. Men shouldn't act like kids. You made a promise, son, and promises are meant to be kept. I'm sorry, sir. Honest. But now you know it isn't true about my father. Now we can prove it. Yes, if we can track them down. We better get started right away. We'll leave the wagon here. What about boy? Him can't drive wagon like. We'll have to take him with us, Tonto. Tim, this is your chance to prove that you can be a real soldier like your father. You'll have to obey orders. Understand? Yes, sir. Good. 
You can ride with me. to Rock Canyon. Miss Happy, look. We go after them? No, it's too exposed. The real Captain Davis is in there. We can't take any chances. But we've got to save him. Easy, Tim. We have to have a plan of attack before we move in. You soldier, Tim. You know that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. Yancey, go hitch up the buckboard and go down to the outpost for supplies. Supplies? Well, we got plenty of supplies. Not for where we're going, we haven't. We're pulling out? That's right. But, boss, we got a good thing going here. Exactly. But Yancey, haven't you ever heard that a good thing never lasts? What do we do with our army friend in the other room? Well, I've got an accident arranged for the unfortunate Captain Davis. One that will leave him to take the blame for the robberies but quite dead. We move on and pull the same scheme in another territory. I get going, Yancy. Where do you think him go, Kim Sammy? I don't know, but wherever it is, he'll be back, and then we'll get him. Have you got a plan, math man? Yes, Tim, I have, and one I think will work. Never mind. Just start taking off that uniform. Here comes Jancy. It's about time. And go give him a hand with the supplies. And hey, what are you doing? You need a saber to carry groceries? <laughs> of course I have it, boy. I've been wearing this uniform so long, I keep forgetting I'm not a real soldier. you once more. Where's Davis? In the back room. Take care of him, Tuttle. You all right, Captain? You're the last person I ever expected to see, my friend. How did you find me? I, I'd given up. Tom and I were quite certain of your innocence. And I think it was the faith of a small boy that really kept us going. A boy? Dad! Tim! Tim, what on earth are you doing here? I knew you weren't guilty, Dad. I knew it all the time. I just had to come after you to prove that they were wrong. 
should have stayed with your mother, son, but I'm very proud of you. Very proud. We'll pack the gold out of the safe, then we'll get started for the fourth. I wish we could thank you for all the things you've done. Seeing you three together is all the thanks we need. Goodbye, Tim. Goodbye, sir. And Tonto. Take good care of him, Captain. He's a fine soldier. Adios. Gosh, Dad. I never did find out who the masked man was. He's one of the best friends the U.S. Army ever had, son. That's the Lone Ranger. 